What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021. We're gonna call it Champion Time. You guys actually showed a ton of support for the Cynthia team video and I asked like, hey, would you guys want me to make this into a full series where I try to adapt different champions from the main series Pokemon games into VGC teams and you guys were pretty interested in it. So we're just give it like a soft title. I don't know if I'll make a special thumbnail for it or not, but we're gonna call it champion time. And today we're gonna be tackling Steven Stone. And let me show you just how confident I am in this team. I'm going to log out of my main because <laughs> I do not want to lower that thing's ladder. And we're gonna go with uh, a main I haven't used in a while, uh, Sabato Gigantamax, which if you know, you know. Anyways, that's gonna be the account we're using today. It's low ladder and that's how eh this team feels. Um, he's a pretty tough one to adapt given all the common weaknesses, but if you guys enjoyed this, do me a favor, leave a like and subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And that's my comment question of the day. Which champion do you think has the most viable VGC team overall? And who do you want me to see? I, wow, I just messed up. And who do you want to see me uh, tackle next? But yeah. Let's talk about the team. So what I'm running here is a Trick Room, Earth Power, Bulldoze, Eerie Impulse, Kasib, Berry, Claydol. It's able to take both a uh, Max Phantasm from Spectre and a Max Phantasm from Life Orb Dragapult, while also being able to just barely take a Grassy Glide from Rillaboom with how much defense investment defense investment we have, but I believe it's non-Miracle uh, Seed, it's just raw grassy glide that we're able to eat here. And its main deal is it's going to be able to sit on the field for a while, set up Trick Room, uh, and activate Weakness Policy on Metagross with Bulldoze, while also supporting the team with Eerie Impulse by lowering the special attack stat of things like Spectrier or um, Venusaur, I guess we could try to lower the special attack stat on, but I don't know if we'd be able to take it. Uh, but yeah, it's just going to be able to lower special attack stats overall. And it has enough special attack investment to uh, be able to uh, three hit KO opposing Metagross with max Quake, which is pretty nice. Uh, I figured it, it might as well be invested to do that because otherwise getting that four hit KO is kind of a <laughs> kind of a pain in the butt. So, you know, it wasn't very much investment needed to do that. So I'm like, why not just throw it in there? We have a Weakness Policy Metagross, Clear Body, Iron Head, Stopping Tantrum, Ice Punch Protect, with enough investment so that under Tailwind we're going to be outspeeding uh, Dragapult, so that's going to be pretty useful. It's just standard Metagross with a lot of speed on it. Uh, it's going to be able to function either within the Trick Room or within Tailwind, so that's going to be nice. And we have Power Herb, Cradilly, Storm Drain, Meteor Beam, Giga Drain, Protect, and Earth Power. Just max max, no real need to look too far into this guy. Uh, he's just gonna be doing what Cradilly does under Trick Room, clicking Power, Meteor Beam, getting a KO, and then trying to sweep like that. Uh, but we also have Armaldo here with Life Orb Swift Swim. This guy is gonna be the most garbage Pokemon on the team. Even Carbink is gonna be brought to more games than this guy. But I figured if I have to use Armaldo, uh, I might as well just make him you know, work if we happen to face rain, just, you know, deal with the opposing rain Pokemon with Cradily, uh, and then Dynamax the Armaldo and try to sweep like that. But we also have Aqua Jet to feed the Cradily some boost if need be, X-Scissor, Stomping Tantrum, Rock Slide, just offensive. And it sucks because Armaldo actually has a really good attack set at 125, it's just every other stat that's kind of garbage. It's just the speed, honestly, now that I look at it, it's just the speed. If this guy had like 60, 70 speed, he'd be fine, but no. They gave him freaking battle armor as an alternative ability, which sucks. Uh, next, we have Carbink. I just decided to go max max for special defense. Uh, zero speed, Trick Room, Light Screen, Reflect, Moonblast with Light Clay. With Sturdy, we're pretty much guaranteed at least one screen up unless we get doubled in two. So yeah, uh, and here we have an Unnerve Aerodactyl with Tailwind, Brutal Swing to activate Weakness Policy on Metagross. Rock Slide is a general annoying move, and Fire Blast, and that's what we're running a Naive Nature. Uh, I actually found out that Aerodactyl is capable of one-shotting Assault Vest Kartana with Fire Blast, so I figured why not go for it? It's not like Rock Slide will pick up a KO anyways with 105 attack, so I might as well just tack that on there. I could have gone with Dual Wing Beat, but I figured we'd be fine, uh, since most Grass types in the format don't like facing Metagross anyways, and Cradilly can hold its own versus them. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Like I said, I don't know how well we're going to do with this team. That's why we're on the low ladder alt. This is like what I just throw things at. What am I at here? I'm at 1020. I've played three games on this account. <laughs> this is going to be a really interesting one. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. 
Uh, don't be surprised if every game is just an L today. We're gonna do our best to make it work though, and I didn't even label this team as Series 9 yet. There we go. And as always, if you want to try out the team, regardless of how trash it turns out to be, uh, to get the team info, you can either one, manually copy it from the video, which would suck, or two, join the Discord and uh, grab it from my team library. But yeah, let's see what we could do here. As we're facing a pretty interesting team, um, I want to say if there is a weakness pulse, it's going to end up being on that Steelix. Um, it just, I don't know, this whole team is physically offensive. Like there's, I guess maybe Charizard, you know, Charizard's obviously a special offensive Pokemon, but beyond that, it's like all physical offense. Um, ironically enough, Armaldo doesn't look too bad here, but I think I just want to lead off with Carbink uh, for my light screen and reflect. Uh, and I'll also go with Aerodactyl because I think with screens up, Metagross just goes crazy. So we'll go Aerodactyl, Carbink, uh, Metagross in the back. And I think my last Mon, I could go Cradily pretty safely, actually, now that I'm looking at everything. Cradily looks really nice. So they go Grimmsnarl, Cinderace. Fine by me. Uh, I should be able to get off this Reflect pretty easily. I could also Trick Room, but I don't want to lose to Steelix. Do I bother Trick Rooming? I could Trick Room right here and just absolutely nay nay, but I think I'd prefer the screens. Yeah, I'll just go for Reflect. It's going to be better in the end, though, overall. Uh, and I'll Tailwind up. So they go for Reflect, and they just high jump kick me, which is fine by me. Um, am I going to be able to get off this other one? Let me think. I could get in Metagross here pretty easily and just try to go for this uh, light screen. Yeah, I'm going to get in Metagross here. Since Metagross should be outspeeding Cinderace, so I'll be fine as long as they're not running like Thunder Wave. Because Scary Face doesn't affect Metagross because of Clear Body, so... It's really just Thunder Wave I have to be careful about. As they are running it, and they do go for it, which kind of sucks for me. I should tank that, though, so I do get a free light screen off. Um, I am now somewhat tempted to attempt a Trick Room. <laughs> which I will do right now, uh, since I'm, you know, paralyzed. <laughs> I could also Dynamax Credilly, and it wouldn't be the end of the world, but it's going to be a lot more difficult to win with that. Um, dang. That sucks I switched on that. Maybe I just Trick Room and go for it here. No need to protect. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll just... Assuming they're going to go for a Fire Move into me, I can tank it. I'll just go for a Max Quake on Cinderace. So they do go for it. I should get off my Trick Room. They don't crit me, as long as I don't get fully paralyzed here. Nice, nice. You know, I might be able to get a KO with my Carbink. Is that in range? Could I... I really want to go for Moonblast because I think it'd be funny. I mean, Cradilly probably wins in the endgame anyways. I'm willing to go for the Moonblast KO. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll just Moonblast, Grimmsnarl, and uh, Max Steel Spike this uh, Cinderace here. Since that'll KO. As long as I don't get fully paralyzed, once again, that paralysis is going to be something we have to be careful about. As I take a sip from my diet ginger ale and contemplate what I've just done. And I do get it off, nice. So, now Carbink can actually operate under Trick Room, which is nice. It's very nice. Um, I mean, it already was able to operate under Trick Room, but still. I should actually be underspeeding that Steelix, like, by a lot. Uh, what I'm going to do instead of switching out Carbink is I'm going to get in my Cradley here. And being cautious of the fact that they likely are weakness policy, I'm going to go ahead and Steel Spike this Grim Snarl and get in my Cradley. As their drill run, um, so I overestimated them by a lot. Joe was actually talking to me about that on one of our videos. He's like, you really overestimate these low ladder players. I'm like, no, it's just that I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> like, man, we're on a low ladder account right now. Like, how do we know they're not like us? Anyways, um... Feeling pretty good just about doubling into this Dragapult. Uh, I don't really fear this Steelix too much. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll Meteor Beam and throw off an Ice Punch. Yeah, because Steelix should be slower than us if they did remember to go absolutely minimum speed. As they just go ahead and disconnect, which... I mean, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Steven Stone causing the disconnects? Whatever. I'm going to wait, though. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pad out this next 30 seconds because I hate when I grab another game. I hate when I go and grab another game and then they come back with five seconds left. But honestly, Carbink, Carbink managed to do something this game, which is something that I didn't expect it to. It's gonna be Armaldo that's gonna be like the, the dead weight on the team overall. Like every other Pokemon can do what it needs to do, but Armaldo overall is just kind of... Eh. Anyways, yeah, we got that win due to uh, a disconnect there. And let's see what we're facing now. Give me a game. Okay, all right, this is gonna be some coaching stuff. Uh, it's pretty hard to stop the Trick Room on Carbink. I'm gonna do that, yeah, I'm gonna go Carbink on lead. As long as they don't lead off Incineroar, I should be fine. But if they do lead off Incineroar, I could try to like go Metagross on lead. I think I'm fine with that. Yeah, I think I'm cool with that. Uh, we'll go Metagross, Carbink on lead. Since I can't be intimidated, I should be able to get off like a, a free Quake or something. Hmm. I think once again, Cradle is going to be important here. And I think... Man. <laughs> Why is Steven's team so bad? Uh, we'll go Claydol. Okay, it's just going to be coaching Max Quake. So what I can actually do is set up a Trick Room here and get in my Claydol on their Max Quake on my Metagross. And then next turn when they max Airstream, <laughs> next turn when they max Airstream, I double back out into the Metagross. As I think they're just going to go for a raw Earthquake. That's fine. That's honestly fine. Uh, here, I should be able to get off a Reflect now, which is going to be huge for beating this team. And I should be able to stop all future coaching by just going for this Earth Power right now into that Riolu, which shouldn't take it. Which should absolutely not take it. As they Dynamax and reverse my Trick Room because I'm a dummy. And I forgot that they can do that. I'm big dumb. Big dumb man right here. Uh, I am willing to bet. I'm willing to bet behind Reflect, he can eat this. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you so hard right now, Metagross. Or they might just hit the carving. Trying to predict it. Oh man, that's what happens when you believe. That's what happens when you believe. You get this KO. Be gone. See, the issue is guys out here don't believe in their Pokemon anymore. <laughs> the heart of the cards BS that you see on like TV shows, it's it's real, man. You don't have the heart of the cards. <laughs> I never really watched Yu-Gi-Oh uh, too much growing up. Like, I remember waking up at like 5 a.m. and watching like that motorcycle version of Yu-Gi-Oh and ooh, that might be an issue. Um, he's just gonna coaching. Hmm. Check it. Is the earthquake or high horsepower? He's high horsepower, and he calls it correctly. Oh no! Oh no! Um, might as well. Maybe I'm faster. Maybe I'm actually faster. I doubt it though. I mean, 145, I, he's probably max speed, so unfortunate for me. Let's see if I just one shot. I come surprisingly close to one shotting that thing. Uh, he has to miss an ice school crash for me to have a chance to win. As I actually don't have a chance to win because it's a Celesteela. Good game. Good game. <laughs> All right. Whoops. As we face, are you really going to use Regigigas with Worry Seed instead of instead of Weezing? Worry Seed's just bad. It's just bad. Uh, yeah. I mean, I should be able to get in Aerodactyl here. Aerodactyl Metagross is probably fine because I don't want to set up a Trick Room. I think I'd rather just go Fast Mode. Yeah. Or. Maybe I do want to set up... No, nah, no, nah, Metagross is a lot better in fast mode here because this thing could cause a couple of issues. So we'll go Aerodactyl, Metagross. Um, 
I'll go ahead and I'll bring Cradilly. Cradilly doesn't seem half bad in the endgame. And I think my last Mon is going to have to be Carbink again. Could also be Claydol, though. Let me think what Claydol does. Um, I'll go Claydol. Claydol's probably a little bit more useful. So they end up going with this lead. Interesting. Uh, they should just feed my Cradilly, to be honest. Yeah, uh, let me go ahead and do this. I can go Cradilly here pretty much for free and protect. And they should be earth powering, right? As they blizzard. Absolute madman. Luckily I can eat that because Cradilly is insane. Uh, and I'll go ahead and I'll just, I mean, I bet you they're choice specs. Why do I feel like they're choice specs? I am Sash Aerodactyl, so I can just sack it here. I want to get rid of this thing. That thing seems to be the most annoying. Watch it be Rindo Berry, and now it can't eat. That'd be so funny if it can't eat now. Give me all my health back. Nice. Alright, cool. So what I can actually do here is Giga Drain again. And I'm actually going to Tailwind just to outspeed this thing and save my Cradilly. Unless they're like Aqua Jet. No, all right. Yeah. So now I save that thing. Uh, and they wasted their Dynamax, and they have nothing. They have nothing for this at this point. Uh, let me go ahead and try to call a, a Focus Sash on that thing. I could Brutal Swing, even though I'm going to hit my Cradily. This is mostly just to break the Sash on that. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter in the end. I'll just Rock Sled. Aerodactyl's more of a throwaway mon right now. See if I can get a flinch. I didn't want to risk like a miss, but it's whatever. Yeah, I don't take too much from that. As they calm mind up. And they go P2. Let me get this max overgrowth off because P2 loses to Clade all Metagross. Um, and I can once again just rock slide. I get the flinch. Awesome. Give me that. And they do get a freeze, which is very annoying. It's very annoying, but it shouldn't really be the end of the world as I can just click Overgrowth and uh, Iron Head here. One flinch, please. Thank you. Giga Drain, another flinch, please. Please? As they recover, uh, it shouldn't really mean too much, considering if they ever attack my Cradily, they lose to Iron Head. They pretty much have to click Recover indefinitely here. And hope they don't flinch. So they foul play me, which means they just lose. GG. Giga Drain, Iron Head. Nice. Lucky me. <laughs> I get to face the, uh, the foul play Porygon too, and it ends up working out. Alright. Okay, now this is this is a it's a pretty interesting team actually. It's Venu Cole with Lapras Trick Room as an option, which none of those have anything really for Cradilly. Like the closest thing they have to a Cradilly answer is like Earth Power, or I guess Max Steel Spike from the from this thing. But yeah, I'm gonna do this. I was considering running Safety Goggles on my Carbink originally, but then I thought like yeah, Venu Cole is not as common as it used to be, so. Maybe not the play, uh, but what I should be able to do here is I'm going to lead off Claydol just in case they end up leading off with um, a Venusaur. Like I should just be able to double out in a Metagross. So I'm going to go Cradily, Claydol, Metagross, and I think in my last slot I could just go Carbank for screens. Yeah. Okay, this is great. <laughs> this is actually great. What I can do here is is scare this stack attacker really, really bad. I'm gonna Dynamax. I'm just gonna double quick the stack attacker. Because if they're Shooker, they don't take both of these. And they also have no switch to this, so regardless, I get like a nice little special defense boost on my crit elite. It's, it's really like very little risk. 
is they opt to set up the trick room. Which is interesting considering what I have. Awesome. And there's the Torkoal. Uh, I really don't fear this Torkoal right now. Yeah, I eat that hit pretty well. Uh, let me switch out my Claydol here for Carbink. So they go for an Eruption, and it does like nothing to Cradily. Probably gonna reverse the Trick Room considering they didn't move. And now I got <laughs> now I got the Sand up. As they go for a Will-O-Wisp, I don't know why you would do that there. There's the Lapras. Uh, what I can do here is go for a Rockfall and light screen up. Because Rockfall should just remove the Mimikyu from this range. And I don't want to activate a possible Weakness Policy on that Lapras. Since we didn't see Weakness Policy on the Sack Attacka and Life Orbs probably on Venusaur. So I'm going to play it real safe here. There's the resonance. We don't take too much. Okay. And now, now I can Meteor Beam. And I'm actually going to get in the Claydol here. And I'll start clicking Eerie Impulse on the Lapras for like the really slow end game. Which, actually they reveal Life Orb so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I click like one Eerie Impulse, that Lapras is done. As it just barely hangs on, but it's fine because they forget about my ability. Giga Drain, Eerie Impulse, that should be game. They don't have any way around this, really. That's interesting. It looked like a really threatening team, but it feels like the guy playing didn't really know what they were doing. Interesting. Or maybe they just forgot about Storm Drain. Now this. Now we're going to face the inverse of that, where it's going to be a team that doesn't look threatening, but the person playing is an absolute master. That's what's going to happen here. Aerodactyl looks absolutely absurd on lead. Uh, we'll go Metagross as well. Or I could actually do this. I get free screens up, really. Like, they have nothing for Metagross once the screens are up. So I will go... Do I want to play Trick Room? No, I'd rather just go fast. Uh, I'll go Aerodactyl, Carbink. Metagross in the back. And Cradily once more. As they go Scyther Marowak, which I can't explain why, we'll just click Rock Slide this turn and a Reflect. And unless they Dynamax the Scyther, I should be good. Because if it's like Eviolite Scyther, it should take one not max attack Rock Slide. But it's not really the end of the world if they do. I'll still get my Tailwind up and then Metagross goes insane. As they go Clefable, fine by me. They go for a Rock Slide as well, as it misses both my Pokemon. Get my Reflect up. Uh, let me go ahead and get in the Metagross here, and I might as well Light Screen now. Actually, I should I should Tailwind first. I, don't, I really don't need Aerodactyl to win this, it's mainly Metagross. And I'll Light Screen here. Are they just going to Max Rock Fall me? No, they Max Steel Spike, that's fine. That's fine. Um, do I want to go Metagross yet? Or is Cradilly better overall? I think Cradilly is just better overall for this game. But it doesn't need a Dynamax to do what it needs to do. We'll Steel Spike that Clefable first and then absolutely eat the hit from this thing. Uh, we'll also go ahead and go for a Moonblast into the Marowak. As I'm assuming they're just going to go ahead and follow me here. And we'll find out if it's unaware, which probably is. As they just protect, interestingly enough. I figured they would just follow me and protect the Marowak, but that's fine. I'm going for my weakness policy regardless. As it looks like they really don't want to give me my weakness policy. I'll steal Spike here. Very low risk. And we'll Moonblast once more. They follow me, good. Just barely hang on, but they should drop to the Moonblast. Nice. Can I get my... Yep, thank you. Did like nothing. 
And now they should just drop to whatever. They go Chinchino. I'm not scared of that thing. Let me go ahead and Max Hailstorm this thing. And uh, we'll Moonblast on top of that. Just in case it lives. Which, I mean, like, Marowak's surprisingly bulky at times, but I don't know if it takes this. Nah, it does not. There's the Tail Slap. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting uh, play there. And I suppose here would be a good time to Trick Room. Now they just forfeit. Nice. So I know we're just kind of low ladder stomping, but this is more of a showcase of a possible Steven team than anything. I can, like, get two or three games on higher la- Okay. Okay, after this, after this, we'll switch over to higher ladder. Because <laughs> this lead just broke me. Like, this this team preview just broke me. I'm like, I, I'm facing four Pokemon. So, how do we beat this? I don't know. Maybe we just Trick Room on their Trick Room. And go Metagross, because they have nothing for Metagross. Uh, yeah, or maybe I actually just go Carbink. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go carving and get up my screen, because they have nothing if screens are up. Uh, I'll go Cradle as well. Watch, I'm going to lose now that I said that. And we'll go Claydol. Now that I said that, we're going to lose. All right. Uh, let me get off a light screen, and yeah, I'm just going to Steel Spike. I could also Quake. Nah. Yeah, I'd rather just Steel Spike for the end game. And here, I will Trick Room on their Trick Room. Because they're just... Oh, wait, no. That isn't the right Ndidi. What? Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm going to have to light screen. That doesn't have follow me. What? As they go for the Force, um, I one-shot their Hatterene. Yeah, and now I always get off my Reflect because they can't KO me. Uh, we'll go ahead and we will Steel Spike the Ndidi first, assuming that he's just going to go ahead and give us our Weakness Policy, and we'll get a Reflect off here. They'd have to crit me to knock out the Carbink now. I feel like Carbink has some potential to be a good competitive Pokemon, but it's just like so underwhelming compared to other things. Only when you're seriously forced to use Carbink is it ever going to feel like a good mod. Like in this situation. <laughs> Carbink's going stupid, you know? As they just forfeit. Nice. Let's switch over to uh, Pokey Physicist. Pokey Physicist should be like mid-1500s right now. I believe. Yeah, 1529. Lower 1500s. Still better than where we were at. All right. Interesting team. Uh, I'm going to get like two or three games on this because I know we're not going to do well with a Steven Stone team. Uh, what I can do is... Dang. Kind of have to call a lead here. Uh, if I go Aerodactyl and they lead off Incineroar, they can shut that down. I guess they shut down it regardless. Um, Claydol is the safest lead. We just have to watch out for Tapu Bulu, of all things. So I'll go Claydol here. And I think Screens is going to be nice. Uh, we'll go Metagross in the back and all reliable cradley, really. All right, that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and we will... And we get a guaranteed Trick Room here, but I don't know if I want to go for the Trick Room anymore, to be perfectly honest, considering what we're looking at. Uh, I know my Metagross is faster than their Metagross, so I'd rather just get a Reflect off of anything. Uh, and I will go for this Earth Power into the Incineroar. Because I think they'll just max here. They can also Iron Head and Flinch. If they double into the Car Bank, it's not really the end of the world. I actually know it might be. I think the screens are really what's going to make this game possible. As it looks like they're going to double the Car Bank. That's fine. I tend to destroy Pokemon that I'm scared of too. They were fearful of Car Bank. They did not know how much power he held. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and try this. They should... Should... Be going for this Metagross, I think. So I'm going to Protect here. And try to get that Incineroar in range of an... Oh, no, they're just going to go for it. Uh, I was going to try to get the Incineroar in range of a Max Quake. Since I was relatively certain uh, it would not drop to it at that point. Alright, this is not going well. <laughs> this is not going well anymore. 
Uh, what's my best chance here? I guess I still have to quake the Incineroar. I'm not giving you a weakness policy, man. I am not giving you that weakness policy. Yep, that's a KO. Good game. Let's try another. <laughs> Steven's team is really bad. I am not looking forward to trying out Lance. I can tell you, I'm not trying. I'm not looking forward to trying out Lance or Iris. All the dragon type uh, champions are just trash teams. Um, I think Cynthia might have been where we peaked, and unfortunately, we started with it. <laughs> uh, let me see. So, uh, once again, screen's looking really fly here. Uh, we'll go ahead and go Carbank on lead. I don't have Taunt. I don't. But I don't necessarily fear anything outside of a Rillaboom lead. So we'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll go Carbank Claydol. Uh, in the back here, it looks like we just go with like the same thing. We have not clicked Armaldo once because it's a garbage mon. But, but I think we're fine. We'll set up a Reflect here. Most of their team is physical. In fact, I think their whole team is physical. So this reflect can be a huge game changer. And I will go ahead and trick room on their trick room. Is they nightshade. Which, whatever, we'll light screen. And I'll get in cradley. I don't feel like reversing this trick room. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. All right. Let me go ahead and Moonblast and uh, Meteor Beam into the Scrim Snarl. As it just barely hangs on. That's so disappointing. That's so disappointing. Anyways, um, Moonblast here should do the trick. I could Meteor Beam again into the Dusclops. Yeah. And dang, we might actually need to Dynamax that, uh... <laughs> we might actually need to Dynamax that, uh... That Claydol to get out of this. Depends if they have stack, which I assume they have stack if they went Conkledur, Dusclops, and, uh, Grimmsnarl. Hmm. Just Moonblast you, Meteor Beam. Okay, they Dynamax Conkledur, which is fine by me. That's fine by me. Let's go ahead and get in the Metagross. Trick Room is now over. Uh, I should be able to Steel Spike on this thing. And we'll try to Giga Drain. My main priority is the Stealth Clops at this point. What's my speed stat? 43? This thing's like 45, right? Yeah, so we're going to be slower than it, uh, but Trick Room's over, so it's going to suck. There's the Spike. Let's see if they end up targeting Metagross for some reason. No, they knuckle. I'm assuming we're about to get Will-O-Wisp. As they just Trick Room, which is whatever, I guess. Uh, let me go ahead and Steel Spike the Dust Cops once more. And here I'll go for the Earth Power. Or I could also reverse the Trick Room. I think my play's reversing the Trick Room. Because Steel Spike should KO barring a... Barring... A Pain Split, which it might have. I honestly think, I, yeah, they do have Pain Split, but I'd rather see a Pain Split than a Will-O-Wisp. As they're able to KO me. I think that's game. Now let's see how we get out of this. Except I Steel Spike him again. Just kidding. Um, how much did that last one do? 44%. Yeah, let's just see if we can crit. So they do have Will-O-Wisp. Let's see if I can get a Weakness Policy somehow. They had Drain Punch, though, so this isn't looking too good. I'd have to, like, crit real hard after a Weakness Policy. As there's the Rillaboom. Uh, assuming we're just going to get faked out, it's safer just to protect here. As they punch. Iron had the Conkledur for the best chance of winning. <laughs> Maybe they'll somehow activate it. Maybe they're like Iron Ball, Bulldoze, Rillaboom. Nah, GG. Yeah, uh, this team is not very good on High Ladder. And if we take a look at Steven's catalog of Pokemon, there isn't <laughs> there isn't many options for building a team much different than this. Uh, so yeah, I, I did what I could. I think it's 
okay enough on low ladder. Um, so yeah, on, on high ladder, I do not recommend, but let me know what you guys thought about it. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed, uh, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.